I figured I'd do a little video today on uh, um, pigtails and uh, T connectors um, and how they are set up and how you can test them um, to make sure that you have the right wiring. Okay. Uh, first, we're going to start off here with a um, a uh, multimeter tester. Um, and uh, if you see right here, um, this little marking right here is uh, the setting for your continuity tester. So if you were to take your two um, connectors here, you would hear once it makes a connection, it makes a little beeping noise. That means that you have a, a constant um, connection through each end. Okay, so uh, one of the things that I like to do on uh, on my um, on my testing is to figure out which color wire goes to what. I test all of my uh, pigtails because um, sometimes the wiring color is different. Um, and uh, so first off, we're gonna just uh, slide uh, one end. It doesn't matter which end. Um, into we're gonna go with the the you'll notice that there's a notch out at the bottom here um, we're gonna go with the one right up at the top of the uh, the kind of triangle alright um, just from uh, previous experience um, this one for me should be uh, the data line so when I make this connection I hear that noise um, that tells me that the signal is going all the way through and that my data cable is going to in fact be yellow on this connector. Um, I also make a, uh, a little cheat sheet um, which will help you out um, for to follow consistency of your uh, wiring. Um, this is the for the female end um, of the uh, pigtail um, which would be this one here. Um, your male would be the one with the prongs sticking out of it. Um, so, uh, going with the uh, female connector, um, my the left side um, uh, pin should be blue, uh, and that should be my negative. Uh, my right hand side should be my brown wire, and that should be my positive. Um, so we're gonna go and just check those. Um, so as I said, left is going to be blue um, and when I um, make the connection and I have that in my left hand side prong I do get continuity um, and so I, in fact I know that that uh, left hand um, female opening is in fact my blue wire and so therefore I just double check to make sure that the brown is for the right hand side um, that tells me that my uh, right hand one is my positive wire. Okay. Um, as far as the female end, uh, once again, there's a a little notch. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that or not. There's a little notch at the bottom. So I go directly above that um, for my uh, data wire. And I should get continuity, in which I do. I just simply hold it up to the pin on the uh, male side, and I'm getting continuity on my yellow wire, which in fact tells me that if I were to connect these two male and female sides, I w my yellow would be guaranteed to be my data wire. Um, and vice versa on the opposite side, it's going to be the opposite for your um, your male. So instead, on the female, the blue is on the left, the brown was on the right. Um, because you're coming from an opposite end, your blue is going to be on the right hand side, uh, which is going to be my um, my negative. Um, in fact, while I'm testing this, I have continuity um, going over to the other side for brown. This would be my positive, and I am getting continuity. Okay, so that tells me that these pigtails here have the right uh, color wiring. 
um, for a straight through uh, pigtail connection. Okay, as far as a, um, a T, which is going to be sending you your positive, negative, and data, but your data should go straight through. Um, only your positive and negative should be stopping at the actual T for your power injection. So the first thing that I try and do is I take both ends and because um, in my past um, I've always had the top as my data, um, one thing that you want to do is just try and test your top one um, and you'll notice that there's a notch here so we'll go to the top. Okay so I know that my top one is going all the way through without a stop at the um, at the T. If I were to do the same exact test for my lower ones you'll see that there is no continuity. So I know that this bottom right hand pin and this bottom right hand pin is um, <coughs> is going to be uh, at stopped at the T. Even even though um, even though when I make the actually it would be the opposite. If I, even though if I do test that it still shows um, continuity going through because the way that this particular T they have the positive and the negative um, going all the way through as well so to eliminate that um, what I'll do is I'll then come over to my side and use one of the testers and find out that this particular one on my female side is going from um, is going to be either my positive or my negative. All right. If I tested the other side over here, it should have continuity for this um, bottom one. So I know that on this particular pin configuration. Um, that the bottom notch is here, this is my data, this is either going to be positive or negative, um, but these two bottom ones stop at the T. If I were to try and do a continuity test with my top one, which I know now is data, it will not make a continuity connection in either slot. So therefore, I know that my top one is going to be my data, because it does not stop at the T. Now, one good way to figure out which you want to have your positive and your negative um, is to connect your, um, your three-pin wire. So I just have a, a standard uh, pigtail. Um, I'm going to plug that into the end here. And I will do the same for the uh, female end, um, which is going to be here. These will only fit in one way, um, so that you know. Now, in my previous one, this is the male side. So I know that um, my blue is going to be my negative. So if I come over to the T and I hold the wire to the blue then I know this specific one this specific um, out of the two the top one is going to be um, my negative. And if I were to hold it to the brown On the bottom, I would know that that's my positive. Now, the way to know that is um, there's a notch. Um, one side has a flat side, and one side is rounded. 
So if you were to take your two pin, your two pin connector here, you can see that on this side it has a flat side. So it too is only going to fit into your T connector one way. By making this connection here, I should be able to go from any point and connect my blue wire to this blue wire and have continuity. That tells me that my negative is blue all the way through. And I should be able to connect the brown to the brown at the T connector and also have continuity. So this right here tells me that all the way through my T connector with all the pigtails and so forth that my color wiring all matches up. So my blue wire is always going to be my negative wire. My brown wire is always going to be my positive wire. And my yellow uh, slash green wire is going to be my data wire. Um, that's why I like to uh, check every single uh, connection, especially with T's, um, for the wire configuration. Because I have had in the past where that particular, this particular, um, on the left hand side of the female, uh, should be blue. I've actually had continuity test where it ends up being the brown. Um, which would reverse your... Um, your positive and your negative and if you were to plug that into a strand of lights you'd probably lose your lights well at least the first couple um, so I always uh, I, I like to make this little cheat sheet um, and you'll notice here from my two pin I did a flat side and I labeled it what it should be um, if I were to look at the pin and put the flat edge on that I know my top should be my blue negative my brown would be the bottom positive. And on the female side, it would be um, the, if you were looking at it and had your flat end facing in, my blue would be at the top and my brown would be at the bottom, which would be positive. Um, so just a quick way to uh, show you how to do a continuity test on your um, pigtails. It's always uh, important to be able to do this. Um, to make sure that your wiring does go through. Um, and I uh, hope this helped you guys. Uh, and I uh, hope you get on your feet uh, a little quicker with uh, being able to understand this. Thanks. Have a good day.